I'm just trying to understand. Claire, you must understand. I just love drones so much. I'm just operating on instinct, Ken. Did you come down here with an agenda? Well, of course. First, I'd like to let you know how freaking sexy you look in that power skirt. Second, I'd like for you to talk to the president. See if it would be okay for me to fly my drone at Mount Rushmore. I want to get a close-up of Roosevelt's mustache. But then you made reference to something about two very close friends that's nobody's business, including yours. And you even said so yourself, Ken, that you have an awfully big mouth. Well, Claire, those two friends of which you speak would love to fly their drones at the National Park as well. That would be really cool. And you implied Francis especially. Does the president have a drone? I mean, he's perfectly welcome to come along with us if you- In what way? In the way that any FAA certified drone pilot would do? I mean, come on. We have such beautiful national parks and opening them up for aerial photographers would let us show them off to the world. I'm just very interested in your perspective. And it's that perspective that I'd like to show everyone. Claire, drones are here to stay. And as always, technology outpaces legislation. You have the president's ear. All I'm asking is that you suggest that our country take the lead on being more drone friendly. Not only would it demonstrate that the United States recognizes the full potential of what drones can bring to our economy, but flying up to Mount Rushmore and filming Lincoln's nostril, that would be freaking awesome. I tried to call the president yesterday, but... He should have called you back. Yeah, because I know he would have called Casey Neistat. Francis and Tim were very good friends. That guy thinks he can fly anywhere he wants. But you know, Ken, the older I get, I learned that assumptions are dangerous. Okay, I get it. You can't talk here. If it's okay for me to drone Mount Rushmore, just smirk and say it was great to see you. It was great to see you. Perfect. All right, now walk away so I can see that power skirt. <laughs> Mount Rushmore, here I come. Yeah, because I know he would have called Casey Neistat. That guy thinks he can fly anywhere. Love you, Casey. Mean it, brother. Don't be mad at me. <laughs>